Hi guys, it's Skinboot here, and today what I'm going to be bringing you guys is, of course, a No Man's Sky video. And in today's video, what I am uh, really surprised and slightly shocked to bring you is actually a video covering the recent announcement of No Man's Sky VR, as in virtual reality no Man's Sky. Now, there is a lot to talk about here. We have had this announcement just kind of out of the blue yesterday, and there is a lot of stuff which we need to digest and look at, so I'm just going to shut up and get straight into things. So with all of that said and done, please do sit back and relax. Let's get started. Okay, so yesterday I uploaded a video about the No Man's Sky Online sort of portal speculation kind of thing. This was a video which I had made of about five days ago, but I hadn't got around to actually editing it. So when I actually uploaded this video, I was quite excited to see what people were going to, you know, comment about it and things like that. And before I knew it, I had a hundred fucking comments saying No Man's Sky PSVR has been confirmed. At the time, I was like, is this some kind of new meme? Like, what the fuck is going on? But I looked it up and yeah, it was true. About five minutes after I uploaded that video, No Man's Sky VR was just confirmed. So yeah, great timing. It's fine. It's not like I worked on that video. But a new blog post was put onto No Man's Sky's new section of the website. Believe me, this is one of their, you know, very standard kind of this is what's happening this is what's going to come out here's a little trailer for it here's a little bit of information but not too much information so you don't know a lot i will say though that in terms of blog posts and how hello games treat things before they have been officially released this one has the most amount of information compared to other things either way the link to this article will be in the description of the video as always this is the main source of info for no man's sky vr and we're going to get into the details very soon but before we dive right into the details i want to play you the new no man's sky vr trailer for you to have a look at So there you go, that is the trailer. And a damn good trailer at that. This was uh, a part of the uh, the Sony uh, something play conference. I forget the name, but it's where they announced some games, like a little baby E3 kind of thing. This came completely out of nowhere, and the trailer is very short in typical Hello Games fashion. But to me, the one thing I can gather from this trailer already is that this game, as in No Man's Sky, has been completely redesigned for VR, and this isn't some shitty low effort port. It comes as no surprise to me that No Man's Sky VR is done right. It isn't lazy. It isn't half-assed. Hello Games have clearly spent time working on this and hasn't been something which they have just, you know, rushed out for beyond. They have probably been working on this for quite a while and it really does show. I mean, the full motion tracking of hand movements and flying out of your ship, you know, using like a fucking, you know, joystick and stuff like that, I did not expect that. I expected at least just to put on a VR headset and use a controller or a keyboard. I didn't expect a full motion tracked experience and that is absolutely incredible you know this is one of the things which hello games is extremely good on and that is just doing things properly not half assing it and rushing it out but anyway into the first details of no man's sky vr and i want to start off by saying that the first biggest piece of news is that no man's sky vr has been confirmed to be the second part of the three part beyond update the first being the previously announced no man's sky online we already know that beyond is an accumulation of three different strands of development the first one being a new online portion of the game and the second one now being 
using VR. What the third part of Beyond is, is, you know, still unknown. It could be space, variation, planets. We don't know, but we do know that VR is the second part of the Beyond update. Some people are a little bit angry, I guess you could say, or mainly disappointed with this. Mainly because VR is such a niche market and although PSVR is a lot more accessible than say a Oculus Rift or a Vive, a lot of people still don't have virtual reality headsets and that's because they are still quite expensive and very dependent on the room which you have in which you can play. VR headsets have not hit the mainstream kind of gaming yet because they are just too complicated and precise to work for everyone so naturally people are a little bit bothered that vr seems to be such a big part of beyond but hey ho we won't talk about that now that will probably be for another video but another major point of interest is that no man's sky vr is not some sort of separate game mode or a whole new release it's the full game but ported to vr it will just be playable when beyond launch and you won't have to download something externally you won't have to buy something all over again this just allows you to play no man's sky as you know it but in vr and what is important is that sean even said in this blog post that what is possible in no man's sky currently so next and any other update that the game will receive will of course be in vr there are no limitations you can not only play no man's sky vr but oh it's just 1.2 because one point three and next don't work in vr no fuck that it's the whole game every time an update will be given to no man's sky i believe it will just carry over to vr so there are no differences it is quite simply the same game but in virtual reality and that is absolutely fantastic this comes as such a surprise to me but at the same time it's also not a surprise because this is hello games and hello games are not like the rest of developers at this current point in time take a look at the vr market and specifically valve and bethesda and how they go about with their virtual reality games obviously valve is very big on vr they're kind of pushing for it because they believe that there's a future in it and that's fair enough i mean they're never going to make left 4 dead 3 again or half-life 3 again so i guess they should focus on vr but bethesda is a shining example of how not to do vr as in sell a game which people have already bought possibly three times just so they can play it in virtual reality and yes i'm looking at you skyrim skyrim is the fucking worst example of just absolute money whoring for vr it is the same game it's the same game you have always played on pc and xbox with your special edition your ultimate edition your last gen edition but you just have a headset on your face and hello games have not done that they could well have just sold no man's sky vr as a separate game but they are not doing that and that is incredibly admirable from a consumer point of view considering how money hungry a lot of game developers are nowadays but anyway i'm going completely off the rails here but my point is is that no man's sky vr will simply come as an addition to the beyond update there are no downloads or fiddling with shit and installing stuff it's just plugging in and playing the game when the update releases and that is so goddamn refreshing so in terms of the platforms which no man's sky vr is going to release on we know for a fact that playstation vr is going to be the main source of kind of you know traction for no man's sky vr that is because no man's sky originally was a playstation 4 exclusive so yes no man's sky vr will release on the ps vr headset but also steam VR which means if you have a Vive or an Oculus Rift then you should be able to play No Man's Sky VR when it comes out in the Beyond update this summer. I can play No Man's Sky VR when it releases and I'm fucking glad I got my Oculus out the box again and set it up because this is great timing and I'm pretty damn excited. Finally there is mention that with Beyond releasing there will be an exclusive retail release of the game on PlayStation 4 and this fits physical edition will come with the base game vr support and every update so far including beyond now this is something which really piqued my interest mainly because i made a video 
a, a week and a bit back. I don't remember when it was. But I was talking about the lack of stuff to buy from Hello Games. As in collector stuff, editions of the game. I was saying that I want to buy more stuff from Hello Games because I like to have shit on my shelves. And this looks like <laughs> it has solved at least a tiny part of that problem. Now, what this retail edition is all about, if this is, you know, primarily focused on just bringing a newer version of No Man's Sky out on disc, like with the Xbox One edition, which obviously had the new cover up, then, you know, I'm cool with that. You know, I've still got the original No Man's Sky on PlayStation 4, and yeah, maybe it is time for new cover up. I'm not entirely sure, but either way it's a new addition maybe it'll come with something interesting maybe there'll be some you know little pieces of memorabilia in there or something that i can put on my shelves and i can tell you now i will be buying this as soon as it's out there is not a doubt in my mind about that but guys that is just about all i have to say for this video i do just want to say thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video if you guys enjoyed it then please do feel free to leave a like on the video and if you guys could also subscribe to mzk then that'd be absolutely fantastic and as always i will see you guys on my next video this is skimboot signing out